Welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the new videos. Today in the series of interesting world of microbes, topic is antimicrobial properties of honey. Honey is a yellow brown fluid made by bees from nectar collected from flowers. It is sweet in taste and thick in texture. Since ancient times, honey has been used as food, cosmetics and medicines by all civilizations. The use of honey as medicine is not a new practice, but its broad spectrum antimicrobial properties are discovered in modern time. Honey as a medicine can clear infection of wound, improve tissue healing, give relief in acid reflux, can balance the sugar of body, improve immunity, act as immunomodulator, reduce inflammation and give relief in cough and cold. Now the question is what ingredients make honey therapeutic? Honey is hygroscopic in nature, can draw moisture out of the environment and dehydrate bacteria. High sugar content and low pH can also prevent the microbes from growth. High viscosity of honey provide a protective barrier to skin prevent from infection. Besides that, Honey contains about 180 types of different compounds including water, sugars, free amino acids, proteins, enzymes, essential minerals, vitamins and various phytochemicals which are good for skin and body. Studies suggested that some of the factors present in honey are the reason behind its antimicrobial activity such as hydrogen peroxide. The most important ingredient of honey responsible for microcidal activity. Hydrogen peroxide kill microorganisms by destroying their cell wall. Hydrogen peroxide is produced by glucose oxidase enzyme. Its concentration in honey is determined by the rate of its production by glucose oxidase and its destruction by catalase. Thus, the hydrogen peroxide level in different types of honey differs. It is a heat and light sensitive compound. Methyl glyoxyl. It is another important ingredient. It gives non-peroxide antibacterial property to the honey. Methyl glyoxyl causes alteration in the structure of bacterial fimbri and flagella which would limit bacteria adherence and motility. Due to the presence of methyl glyoxyl, antibacterial property of honey remain intact for longer time because it is not sensitive towards light and heat. Flavonoids and polyphenols. With the time and age, biomolecules of the body such as lipid, protein and nucleic acid get damage which create oxidative stress or free radicals in the body. The damage further may develop into many diseases like cancer, cardiovascular diseases, metabolic disorders, etc. Flavonoids and polyphenols act as antioxidants, fight against free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. Antibacterial properties of the flavonoids and polyphenols are due to the fact that they disrupt cell wall and cell membrane of bacteria. The antibacterial activity of polyphenols may be also due to the capacity of these compounds to chelate iron vital for the survival of almost all bacteria. In recent years, it has been reported that polyphenols are able to disintegrate the outer membrane of bacteria release lipopolysaccharides of cell and increase the permeability of the cytoplasmic membrane. Lysogyne. This is also another important ingredient of honey which inhibits a broad spectrum of gram-positive bacteria and some fungi by hydrolyzing their cell wall. Bee peptides. Bee peptides present in honey are bacterostereostatic in nature means they do not kill but prevent the growth of bacteria by keeping them in stationary phase of growth. Types of honey. There are many types of honey available depending on plants honeybees feed on. Please check the description box below for the links. World is amazing and microorganisms present in the world are more amazing. Thanks for watching.